Cup tie elevated to the level of a crisis with these Tottenham players aware that after three home defeats and with a league position well below the status of the club, defeat today against third division Notts County is really unthinkable. And Tottenham's spirits weren't lifted when Graham Roberts awoke this morning and immediately put his back out. He's already returned to London for treatment. Glenn Hoddle is back though after missing two matches through injury with the former county player John Chidozzi named as sub. But yet another reshuffled Tottenham team is an indication of a troubled season. This is the 28th different permutation of players that they've tried. Injuries have forced Notts County to rely heavily on youth. The back four of Fairclough, Davis, Smalley and Yates are all teenagers with only a handful of games between them. Tristan Benjamin will be the old head operating behind them as a sweeper. And six foot four inch centre forward Mick Waite is the player that Spurs manager Peter Shreve nominated as a possible aerial threat when he took his entire first team to watch County's game in midweek. So it's Notts County in the white shirts who kick off attacking the goal to the left. County unbeaten for their last five games against a Tottenham team who haven't scored for three. The referee today, Ray Lewis of Great Bookham. In the third round, he did Ipswich Bradford, which was a 4 4 draw. Bitter cold wind blowing right down the length of the field. Stevens punts it all the way back and he hasn't made a good job of it. Clemens has to come out of his area. Impossible to overestimate the importance of this match for Tottenham. Already out of the Milk Cup. League position only midway, with only the FA Cup left to chase. That's Mark Goodwin. Wait. Davis lays it back to Benjamin. Both keepers given an early touch. It was blocked by Falco. County's ball. Big occasion for Notts County. Forward by Miller. Falco penalised for the challenge on Benjamin. Taken by Davis. Came off Miller. Huddle. Nice touch from Huddle to Falco. And he's made a complete mess of it. Yates, the man who made the mistake, and it's a goal. Clive Allen. A punishing start for Knox County, and that might well have killed the tie. Allen's sixth goal of the season, and it came after a dreadful mistake by Dean Yates. He swung at that ball and missed it completely, and Allen was away behind him. That will certainly have lifted the pressure off Tottenham. is Dean Yates Looking for the head again of Mick Waite Hoddle Perryman the ball for Waddle to chase and he's got round the young fullback almost a second goal for Clive Allen Perryman spraying that ball out wide to Waddle on the left, who managed to get the cross in around the young fullback Wayne Fairclough. Touched on by Clive Allen and behind for a corner. Falco! And that's two saves that Mick Leonard has had to make in the space of a minute. Cost £30,000 when he came here from Halifax back in 1979. Miller, Huddle, 
the snapshot from Hoddle after Miller's header had been knocked out again, flashing across the face of goal. The linesman on that far side keeps putting his hands up to his eyes, always having a lot of trouble with the low sunlight, which might, in uh, one or two cases, affect his judgment about offsides. Oh, they must score here! Ian McParland, county's top scorer. Injured as he puts county level. Twenty-two minutes gone as Ian McParland scores his 17th goal of the season. Courtesy, it has to be said, of a rather fortunate rebound. But Spurs were punished for some slackness in defence. And the pressure is back on the first division side. Shooting. The Spurs will have to keep their nerve here because defeat in this fourth round cup tie would be a major crisis for White Hart Lane. Paul Allen, not a good ball in, came off Benjamin and Spurs get the corner. Keeper dropped it. Chris Hewton. That'll fall nicely for Hoddle and there's no offside. A lovely chip up, it has to be surely. Oh, Falco did it right. He headed it down, but straight into the arms of Mike Leonard. Well, the county defenders looked across to the linesman then to see if Hoddle had been offside. The flag stayed down. A lovely chip ball into the middle for Falco. Faces on the Knox County bench. Okay. Edge. Well, Stevens has gone down in some discomfort. He wouldn't want to fall too many times on this pitch. The ground very heavy and hard, and referee Ray Lewis decides that that's an appropriate time to end the first 45 minutes. So, a lot of talking to do in the dressing room for Tottenham at half-time. It's County 1, Tottenham 1. The walls of Nottingham Castle in the distance look cold and uninviting on this bitter winter's afternoon. With Tottenham now ready to play, perhaps the most important 45 minutes of football of the season. So, Tottenham start this second half. Immediately trying to find a long ball through to Paul Allen. Tottenham, of course, with their glittering FA Cup history. They've won it seven times, a record that they share with Aston Villa. The Notts County substitute, Rakid Harkook, come into the touchline. Coming on right at the start of this second half. Declan Edge is the player who's gone off. And Harkook gets a big cheer. Only played one game in the last two months because of injury. Well... The remainder of this match will certainly test the strength of Tottenham. Peter Shreve warming up his substitute, John Chidosi. He used to be a Notts County player. So Chidozi onto the field where he used to play his football for County to try and win this fourth round tie for Spurs. And Paul Allen is not a happy man as he's coming off. Steve Perryman went across to have a word with him, patted him on the back. Chidozi has 18 minutes in which to make an impact on this cap tie. 
Okuk. Good win, played it back first time. Gary Stevens. And Chidosi will get there. Can play it back to Stevens if he wants. Instead to Perryman, and now Hoddle. Good effort by Hoddle. That's the sort of football Spurs have got to put together. Hoddle broke nicely for him. Hoddle. First time. Two moves in the space of a few seconds, the best that we've seen from Tottenham. Good win. Markuk's not offside. Good win. Straight into the welcoming hands of Ray Clements as Mark Goodwin sprinted forward to get the ball back from Harcourt. Mabbott. What an important few minutes of football for Peter Shreve. Tottenham penalised. Davis with the free kick. Wait, got to it. Oh, it's a great goal. But it's disallowed. David Hunt, the player who put the ball into the net. But the big centre forward, Mick Wade, is penalised for jumping on the defender. Well, that's what he's there for at six foot four to get up and win the ball in the penalty area. That's what worried Tottenham when they saw him on Tuesday. And Tottenham were lucky to survive that scare. Benjamin, who's done such a good job as sweeper. His 12th season at County, joined the club originally from school. He too seems to have had a bit of a knock. Chidosi. Gary Stevens. Hoddle. Got Perryman. Chooses to turn the other way. Falco! Oh! Well, that had the Spurs management off the bench and on their feet. Falco pulled that down and turned. And the shot only just too high. Into the final minute. The Spurs come forward, that's model offside. And you can read the anxiety on the Tottenham bench as these final seconds tick away. Perryman still mustering his team. Touched on by Waite to McParland and Hunt! A brilliant save by Ray Clements from David Hunt has kept Tottenham's season alive. With seconds remaining, Hunt shakes his head. How did Clements keep that out? That was the experience of having been in the game since 1965. And it's the final touch of the match as Peter Shreves leaves the dugout, the whistle has gone, and so Tottenham live on. Jimmy Cyril shakes the Tottenham manager's hand and they'll have to play it all again at White Hart Lane. So the worst hasn't happened for Tottenham, they're not out of the cup, the season is still alive, and we'll have to wait and see what they can do in the replay. The final score here is not County 1, Tottenham 1, 
and what a debt Tottenham owed to Ray Clements for that very last touch of the match, which kept them alive.